Hi friends, uh, here in this video we are going to find the derivative of the function cos x, right? And in previous video we have learned to find the derivative of the sin x and we got the result that the derivative of the sin x is equals to the cos x, right? Now we are going to prove uh, the derivative of the cos x is equals to minus sin x, right? And uh, let's start, right? Here, uh, here our function y equals to, or you can say fx is equals to cos x, right? And uh, if you see uh, the, uh, the 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 graph of the cos x, it will be looking like this. See, this is the actually graph of a graph of the cos x, and it's like this. See, and derivative means uh, it's just the slope of the curve at a particular point, or you can say the 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 tangent, right? Uh, if you if you go to uh, find the slope uh, at a particular point then it will be just a tangent right at that point and the slope of that tangent is exactly the derivative or at particular point how the curve is changing right means how the y part is changing with the x part that that rate is exactly the uh, derivative or the rate of the change of the function at a particular point is the derivative so here whatever we will be finding the derivative that will give you exactly at particular point how that function is changing right or how this cos x uh, graph or curve is changing that will give us right that that we'll get finally so let's uh, start our uh, proof right so uh, from the chapter uh, of from the definition of the uh, derivative what we had learned that derivative of the function fx is equals to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h right this we had learned exactly previous video now uh, with the same use of this uh, definition of the derivative we are going to prove that derivative of the cos x is equals to minus sin x right we are going to apply now this formula this de uh, definition to this function so what we'll get right so let's uh, start so uh, derivative of the function fx or you can also write like this derivative of y that is fx uh, is equals to limit when h tends to zero right now f of x plus h this is a function f x is a function or you can say it's a machine in which if you input anything that will let you x uh, suppose cos x right if you insert here x you will get cos x if you insert here uh, suppose a then you will get cos a right you will get cos a if you insert here b then you will get cos b so now i'm going to insert this x plus h so i will be getting cos x plus h so that's why it's cos x plus h minus f of x simply we're inserting the x that's what we'll be getting cos x right and whole divided by h right and uh, now how to solve this furthermore cos x plus h minus cos x right whole divided by h and what we had learned uh, in, in, in trigonometric chapter uh, that cos c minus cos d is equals to right let me write it here minus 2 sine c minus d upon 2 times sine c plus d divided by 2 that we had learned right so this is also looking like the same this is cos c and minus cos d right so c x plus c is work x plus h is working as a c and here x is working as a d so i'm just going to apply this formula over here and i'll get let me do it here right okay right so uh, let, let me apply here now now the derivative dy by dx is equals to limit h tends to 0 cos c minus cos d that is 2 minus 2 sine c minus d that is x plus h minus x divided by 2 plus sorry times sine c plus d that is x plus h plus x whole divided by 2 right so now let's solve this and we'll be getting the value of the derivative that, that we need limit h tends to minus 2 right and sine c here my positive x and my negative x will cancel out so i'll be getting sine h upon 2 times now I'll be getting here sine c this is x and x so that will be 2x plus h and then whole divided by 2 right and uh, here I, I left here divided by h right from the question divided by h so it was here so this h is here now and then again whole divided by 
h right so in next step limit when h tends to 0 minus 2 right and sine see uh, it's h by 2 simply see, h by 2 divided by h I'm writing and separately I'm writing this sine I'm just separating this 2x plus h simply so I'll be getting x plus h by 2 right I hope you understand it I, I actually did like this 2x plus h divided by 2 it was so I separated individually 2x upon 2 plus h upon 2 so 2 to cancel out and I'll be getting x plus h upon 2 I did the same thing over here right and now I'm doing something uh, here right I'm changing a little bit over here I'm dividing this h by 2 and again I'm multiplying by 2 right so dividing I'm multiplying by the same digit it will not result in anything right I can do like this and why I'm doing this because this value is matching with our formula that we had learned in limit chapter that is limit when theta tends to 0 right sine theta divided by theta is equals to 1 right since it is going to match with this that's why I divided and multiply by the 2 right so sine theta this whole h by 2 will work as a theta and h by 2 here also will work as a theta so sine theta divided by theta will be equals to 1 right when h tends to 0 so now I'm inserting this value and I will be getting here that minus 2 times 1 this whole this whole uh, this uh, in the balloon of uh, this white colored right this balloon will be 1 and now equals to sine x plus 0 right so what I uh, what I'm getting here now this uh, divided by 2 it also here so this 2 and this 2 will cancel out I mean this 2 and this 2 will cancel out and now I'm getting minus 1 sine x plus 0 that is minus sine x x right and finally what we get that derivative of cos x is equals to minus sin x right so we learned this right so now uh, in the next video we'll be doing uh, the derivative of the tan x and before uh, learning that video I'll suggest you to do yourself right how you'll be getting and check with my video so you'll be getting more confidence there right so in next video we'll be meeting bye bye